In this video, I'm going to show you several ways that I use AI, specifically ChatGPT, to help me design clothes for my fashion brand smarter and faster. I've established a system where the AI will help me articulate all of my ideas to an atelier that uses a software called Clo3D to help me create custom patterns for my garments. That way, I come to market with unique patterns and designs that aren't just based on mock-up packs or streetwear trends. The first example I will show you today is this pair of nylon pleated trousers. I made samples for these and also placed a bulk order. So within the next week or so, I should have full inventory for these trousers at the warehouse. Once I have all of my inventory and the packaging is at the warehouse as well, and then we'll do all of my content shooting and prepare for the marketing. I really liked this pair of pleated trousers that you see here on the screen. This pair was on my vision board for a long time. My first step in developing my own version of these pants was taking screenshots, sending them to ChatGPT, and then I said, describe this photo to me. Sending a photo and then asking it to describe the photo, it's forcing the AI to analyze these images. And then that way I can check to make sure that whatever the AI says is correct. So here, as we can see, ChatGPT said on the left, there is a model wearing a dark brown ribbed short sleeve polo shirt and black trousers, which is true. The model is a black male standing against the light background. He has a slim build and is also wearing black leather shoes. On the right, there's a close up image of a pair of black trousers. These trousers appear to be the same as the ones worn by the model on the left. They are displayed against a white background and feature a tailored cut with a visible front crease, suggesting a formal or semi-formal style. So it's pretty good. Then this is where a little bit of prompt engineering comes into play. I said, thanks, now I need you to create an outline for the construction of these pants that I can give to an atelier. Follow this example format. So this is an example format that I came up with for a different garment in the past. I define the style, fit, details, key measurements for the waist, hips, pleats, thigh, leg opening, and inseam, the pocket design, the zip fly closure, and additional construction details like fabric and hem. ChatGPT then gave me an outline for the construction of a new pair of trousers. Here we see the design description, the details, key measurements, and construction like fabric, seams, hem, and interior details. The image shows a wool blend pair of trousers, but I do not want to use wool. I want this pair of trousers to be for a spring capsule. I've used a nylon gabardine fabric in the past, so I had the idea to make these trousers out of a nylon fabric. So I asked ChatGPT, is it possible to achieve the same durability in drape with a high quality nylon fabric? I think the nylon could add some shine and edginess. The wool blend style felt more old money to me, and I'm trying to go for a more new money style. So ChatGPT gave me the rundown, said that yes, it is possible to achieve good durability and drape, gave me the reasons why. And then I said, what about a nylon gabardine fabric with a silky lining? ChatGPT then gave me the benefits of the nylon gabardine and the silky lining. All of these details like durability, water resistance, comfort, ease of movement, and garment care. These are all details that I can put on my website to give my customer more ease of mind when they're doing research about the utility and fabrics and all the good information that most e-commerce brands leave out of their website. Most e-commerce brands, in my opinion, don't put enough information about the construction and the benefits and the utility of their garments on the website. I had a particular silky fabric in mind. I wanted to use viscose. ChatGPT gave me all the benefits of viscose, as well as environmental considerations. Viscose is more sustainable than using synthetic fibers. Viscose is biodegradable. I can include that information about sustainability on my website. ChatGPT also gave me some practical considerations for care and cost. It's very important to know how to take care of the fabrics and putting that information on your website as well and in your follow-up emails after a customer buys a product, sending them an email with care instructions is a good idea. This care information is very important to me. 
At this point, I felt like I had enough information where I can start putting together my own outline to send to an atelier. I then put together this document. These are the season two trousers. These are the photo and fit references from Prada. These are the key measurements and details where I describe the waist, pleats, hip, thigh, leg opening, inseam, pockets, and closure with photo references. I include details about the fabric. Here we have the black nylon gabardine fabric, triple stitched seams at stress points, blind stitched hem, half lined the knee with viscose interior. Here's the information for the inside label with a little mock-up, straight cut, no fold, and here's the logo. I sent that document to the atelier. They created the trousers in Clo 3D with custom patterns, which they then graded and then added to a tech pack, which I then sent to my manufacturer and then had samples of the trousers made. The samples were perfect the first time, so I immediately placed a bulk order, which is on the way to the warehouse now. That's it for this video. If you found this interesting or valuable, please like and subscribe. If there's a topic that you'd like to see in a future video, please leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.